Dada Festival, which is a festival for disability and deaf art. The festival is running from the 13th of July to the 2nd of September across different venues throughout the city. Um, so today I'm going to be speaking to Ruth Gold, who's the CEO of the festival, who will hopefully tell us a little bit more about what it's all about and what to expect over the next few weeks. Since 2001 was our first festival, and so this is our 12th year. The work is quite exciting, it takes you on a different journey, and we are actually doing it here in Liverpool, and it, it's quite unique. It doesn't really happen in other parts of the world, so Liverpool has become quite a focus on exploring disability and deaf art. We have a group called Nudd and Galloway who are here from America to come here to do a reading to bring British and American artists together to look at the collaboration we can have and also explore disability politics. So that is quite unique that we're seen as a hotbed to create something very different cross-culturally. This evening's performance is a tragedy um, which shows the darker side of disabilities through comedy um, which is going to be quite interesting. So it was brilliant to do a piece like this in Liverpool yeah. because it's an international festival. Mm -hmm. uh, Liverpool, Liverpudlians and Dada Festian <laughs> are so awake to what can go on. Well, this particular version has been performed in front of an audience for the first time and that was thrilling. Yeah. We wouldn't be ridiculed that, mm -hmm. that people would understand mm -hmm. on, an, on many different levels. One of the standout performers from this year's Dada Fest was Kieran Stammel. But why is it always the ugly, queer, troublemaking finger that gets it in the end? And there's not a lot of time, so here's my last wish, no. Remember me! Kieran was performing stand up with her partner Gareth down at the Unity, so I thought I'd go and check it out. This is all kind of long for a dying wish, but I think I'm delirious. I've always wondered if YMCA as a sign comes out like why it so it. doesn't it's look. It, no, I already know it doesn't. Oh, if I just say YMCA, what are the songs? Can we check? that's a cop out. One thing I really loved about it, obviously, it was a, a thread throughout the whole thing, was the relationship between you two. How is it performing with each other? I find it fun. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Uh, especially, I'm, I'm very much a stand-up. I'm not used to working with, with somebody, somebody else, else on stage and having to leave room mm -hmm. to just let Kirana speak. I know that I was going to shut up, and I will, <laughs> <laughs> but this is the bit that I contemporary dance. This isn't part of the dance, I'm just being careful not to spill the water. Are you, are you sure this is the bit that you contemporary dance? Well, start the story and I'll jump in and contemporary dance it. I'm going to need a bit of space, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> and my claim to disability, they always question that because my disability is about my relationship to the built environment which is really quite disabling for me. Me and a chair, it's you know like climbing yeah. on and off a bar stool. So I always find it funny that even when I start to talk about the disability stuff there are people in the audience who question my relationship to disability. see us on the street and they see Kirana uh, 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 as being more disabled than me. People were saying to me, it must be, well done you for going out with this little person. Mm, You're yeah, great, yeah. well done you. That must be tough. And it's like, no, 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 she's small. She has to put up with, I've lost most of my bowel, I've got osteoporosis, I hook up to a machine every two days. You fart yeah. very badly. I fart very badly. <laughs> of the two of us, the person that's actually dealing with and looking out for and supporting is Kirana. <laughs> One of the things that I love about Dada Fest is that it's accessible, it's friendly, that you see diversity in action and you see some brilliant top quality work. Yeah. I took the opportunity while I was down at the Blue Hood to have a look at the art exhibition which was going on. The festival was making me think, what would it be like to have a disability such as not being able to hear? I'm working with a Spanish creative technologist um, called Andrea Lopez. Um, we both 
I've been working on a new site called The Hearing Test. It's thehearingtest.com. We're both um, hearing impaired um, artists. It can be very annoying for us on a very day-to-day you know, -day -day basis, like people covering their mouths when they speak, people not looking at us in the eye, people not allowing us lip read them, and background noise, you know? Music in restaurants, noise in cafes, it's constant. So I've just come onto the Dada Fest website to get the link for the hearing test and I'm going to test my hearing. Why do we have two ears? If one falls we can use the other one and if one fails <laughs> to, to help keep our glasses on, to hear in stereo, to determine the direction that a sound, I'd say to determine the direction that a sound's coming from. This is the result of your hearing test. One, two, three. test your hearing or to make you think and to make you more aware of what it's like for people who do suffer with hearing loss and for someone like myself who doesn't it's easy to take it for granted and not be aware of what it's like for someone who does suffer with hearing loss. I come to the festival not really knowing what it was about and I've come away from it just not more not just being entertained but also being informed and being made aware of a lot of different aspects of deaf and disability and um, it, it was a great festival. Click on one of my other videos on screen to check out where else it is.